everybody from the outside, you know, they see me winning with all these pictures, going to do this, that, all these accomplishments, but they really don't know how much of a day and day and struggle it is dealing with some of these things. If I didn't have golf, it'd be kind of tough, but uh, golf definitely helps me kind of get through some things. I started playing golf when it had been like two years old whenever I could walk and, you know, swing a club. I mean, there's pictures of us when, when I was dressed up and, you know, my master's like logoed stuff with plastic clubs hitting around the house. And uh, yeah, I started ever since I could walk, I started playing golf. I grew up playing at a, a nine hole course and, uh, but I mean, I was out there every day from until I woke up, until until it got dark. And um, when I was 13 or 14, my dad, we decided that we were gonna join traditions. And that was mainly all for my sake. I mean, so I could have better facilities. We were able to come over here like every weekend. Us joining there was one of the reasons why I ended up being able to go to school here. My first eyes on Sam Bennett were, he's in a walking boot, carrying a bag of clubs that were bigger than he was, and he's walking and he beats almost everybody. Um, that was kind of my, my kind of guy. You know, golf I like, it's just so tough. I mean, you don't get many chances to win that much. I mean, very, very rarely. I mean, I think just the fact of being able to get out there and compete and try to win a golf tournament and hit big shots under pressure, that's why I do it. Please welcome Sam Bennett. The Texas A&M junior made his PGA Tour debut at this year's Valero Texas Open in San Antonio. Texas A&M golfer Sam Bennett has been ranked number two in the first edition of the PGA Tour University Summer Rankings. Well, I mean, the rankings speak for themselves. So Sammy's a great player. There's no question that he's a great player, but how good he is right now is he's, he's one of the best amateurs in the world. The top five remain the same as last week. Sam Bennett of Texas A&M is now in his second week at the top spot. I don't tee it up to try to get top 10, to try to make this cut, you know, I mean, I feel like I belong with, you know, anybody in the world. And now this is so young Sam Bennett, who's come all the way from Texas. He's still at college over in the United States. He qualified through the PGA Tour University Velocity Global Rankings. And he's clearly got a little bit of talent. Well done. Texas a and Sam Bennett will compete in the 2021 Arnold Palmer Cup. As part of Team USA, the Madisonville product was selected because of a trio of tournament victories that he has had this season. He's real humble. I mean, he's always looking, looking to be better. He's never satisfied with where he's at, but um, he's awesome at what he does. His strength is he really doesn't have a weakness. And when you don't have a weakness, it sure makes it pretty easy to play golf wherever you go. Yeah, so about seven years ago, we found out that my dad, he got diagnosed with early onset Alzheimer's, and he was only at age 48. I mean, that's, that's pretty young to have that. Stat shows like the 0.05% of people get that at that age, and uh, that was tough. It, it got bad pretty quick. I mean, especially the, the last two years were the worst uh, years of our life. He started not, you know, remembering who we were. Inevitably, it led to, you know, death at from seven years being diagnosed. But uh, we're finally able to kind of get past that and move on with our lives and know that he's uh, watching up from heaven, looking down on us, happy. I've struggled with depression and anxiety for the past two years. And, you know, I've probably done some things that I shouldn't have just because of that. Everybody from the outside, you know, they see me, they see me really winning with all these pictures, going to do this, that, you know, all these accomplishments, but they really don't know how much of a day and day and struggle it is dealing with some of these things. And not just, you know, my, you know, as far as dad, yeah, that's the, probably the main thing, but there's, just, you know, other stuff that we deal with that, you know, nobody knows with. Think about, this time in 
um, a young person's life, 18 to 22, how many things are changing, right? That's really where we start to form a lot of our identities. Um, but for a student athlete, they have to juggle all the normal stuff of figuring out kind of who they are in this world. They're trying to figure out their academic stuff, trying to figure out relationship stuff, but then they also have all this pressure of uh, performing at a very elite level. Being able to navigate and juggle all that, and, and Sam really found himself in the throes of that. And on top of that, hey, I have a very real situation in the relationship with my father and the illness that he had. How am I navigating all that? Mental health is very important. I mean, especially being a, a student athlete, I believe it's very important. We have lives too that, you know, we live, that we have our own struggles and uh, it's important to me and it should be very important to uh, other people as well to stay happy and stay doing the things that you want to accomplish in life. a and done a great job of making the mental side of what we do um, important. It's nothing new, but we've really done a great job of kind of trying to stay out in front of it and, and providing services that that help our student athletes. The resources that we receive from the 12th Man Foundation and from our donors has really allowed us to grow our counseling and sports psychology services department exponentially. We're better able to meet the needs of our, of our student athletes. They're able to receive services not only individually, but then we're also able to have group services. We're able to provide services to each individual team. We're fortunate to have that and, and for that to be provided for our student athletes. It's just another layer that uh, helps our guys be successful. Sam's willingness to speak to the ways that he's embraced, you know, mental health services and meeting with a sports psychologist uh, shows a lot of courage. It shows a lot of strength, and I think that other student athletes have really used him as a model. Hey, if that guy is is going to meet with a sports psychologist, I want to go do that too because they see how it's impacted him. They see the success that he's had, um, and that it's really seen as a as a strength. I'm so happy what, in everything that I've been able to accomplish through the, you know, struggles and that's kind of showed me that no matter what, you know, what's going on that I'm strong enough to do this and everybody else should be too. I mean, that, because I mean, it's, it's tough, it's tough for me and it still is and it's going to, it's never going to be easy but uh, just knowing that, you know, I've been able to accomplish everything from what I've been through is, uh, it's pretty cool and knowing that, uh, you know, it will get better and uh, this, isn't, this isn't the end and, uh, I can do it. The ceiling for Sam Bennett, if he's able to handle the adjustment to the next level as far as um, the travel, the time, demands, the not just playing against really good players, but playing against the best in the world, he has a chance to be really successful because he does some things that are special. Hopefully the lessons that he's learned and the maturity he's gained and, and the support he's gotten from Texas A&M will, will help him when he gets to that moment.